Hello there fellow BMW F15 X5 40 hybrid owners. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the common wear and tear issues you might encounter with your vehicle. We will cover various components that need replacement at some point and give you an idea of expected lifespan and cost for each part. So if you're looking to keep your X5 40 in tip top condition and want to know what to expect, keep watching. Let's start with the engine. The X540e is equipped with a 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine paired with an electric motor which is responsible for delivering a total output of 308 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque. While BMW is known for its durable engine, certain parts may still require replacement over time. One common issue with the X540e engine is the water pump. The water pump is responsible for circulating coolant throughout the engine to regulate temperature and it tends to fail around 100,000 to 120,000 kilometers. Symptoms of failing water pump includes overheating and coolant leak. Replacing the water pump can cost around 2,500 ringgit to 3,500 ringgit depending on the mechanic. Another component that may require replacement is the drive belt which connects to the engine various accessories such as the alternator and the air conditioning compressor. The drive belt should be inspected every 50,000 km and replaced if it shows any signs of wear or damage such as crack and frailing. The new drive belt for the X540e costs around 200 ringgit to 400 ringgit depending on the brand. Moving on to the suspension, the X540e features a double wishbone front suspension which provides very smooth, comfortable ride. These parts are subject to wear and tear over time. One component that may require replacement is the shock absorbers which helps to absorb the bumps and vibrations of the road. The shock absorbers should be inspected every 80,000 km and replaced if they are leaking oil or show signs of physical damage. A set of four shock absorbers of the X540e can cost around 3,000 ringgit to 5,000 ringgit depending on the brand. Another part of the suspension that may need replacement is the control arm bushing which is responsible for absorbing shocks and vibration between the control arm and chassis. This bushing tends to wear around 80,000 km and 100,000 km and can cause knocking noises and steering vibration. Replacing the control arm bushing can cost around 1,500 ringgit and 2,500 ringgit. Moving on to electronics, the X540 is equipped with a range of advanced features such as the touchscreen infotainment system and a panoramic sunroof. While these features greatly enhance the driving experience, they may also subject to malfunction and failure over time. One common issue with the X540e electronics is the iDrive system, which is responsible for controlling various functions such as the navigation, the climate control and the audio. The iDrive system may experience software glitches, freezes and other malfunctions, which can be resolved with a software update or a system reset. However, if the issue persists, the iDrive unit may need to be replaced, which may cost around 5,000 ringgit to 8,000 ringgit. The Park Assist system is another area where the X540e may experience issues as it relies on sensors to detect obstacles during parking. If these sensors fail or provide false alert, the system may require a reset or replacement sensor. The cost of a single parking sensor for the X540e typically range from 200 ringgit to 300 ringgit. However, with proper maintenance and care, the owners can help minimize the frequency of this issue, ensure that their park assist system function properly. Moving on to the brakes. The X540e features large disc brakes for all four wheels, which provide excellent stopping power and generally reliable. However, brake components can still wear out over time and it's important to maintain a brake system to ensure optimal performance and safety. One component that may need replacement is the brake pad, which is responsible for pressing against the brake rotors to slow the car down. The brake pad should be inspected every 20,000 to 30,000 km and replaced if they are worn down to a thickness of 2 to 3 mm. A new set of brake pads for the X540 can cost around 800 ringgit to 1,200 ringgit, depending on the brand. Other parts of the brake system that may require replacement is the brake rotors, which is a large disc of the brake press against. The brake rotors should be inspected every 80,000 km and 100,000 km and replaced if they are warped, cracked or have a worn down below a minimum thickness. 
a set of four brake rotors of the X540 can cost around 2,000 ringgit to 4,000 ringgit depending on the brand. In addition to the brake pads and rotors, the X540 also has a regenerative braking system which converts the energy from braking into electricity to recharge the hybrid battery. The regenerative braking system can extend the life of the brake pads and rotors by reducing the amount of physical braking needed, but it may also require maintenance over time. One component that may require replacement is the brake actuator, which is responsible for controlling the regenerative braking system. The brake actuator may experience leak or other malfunctions, which can cause reduced regenerative braking performance or other issues. Replacing the brake actuator can cost around 5,000 ringgit to 8,000 ringgit. Moving on to the hybrid battery, the X540 has a lithium ion battery pack that provides power to the electric motor and stores energy from regenerative braking. While the hybrid battery is designed to last for the life of the vehicle, it may still experience degradation over time. Especially in hot climate or if the battery is frequently charged and discharged. The hybrid battery in the X540e is a modular design which means it is made up of individual modules that can be replaced individually rather than having to replace the entire battery pack which can potentially lower the cost of the replacement as only the damaged or degraded modules needs to be replaced rather than the entire battery pack. However, the cost of replacing individual modules can still add up depending on the number of modules that need to be replaced. One sign of battery degradation is the reduced driving range on the electric power or reduced overall performance of the hybrid system. If the battery needs to be replaced, the cost can be quite high, typically ranging from 20,000 ringgit to 30,000 ringgit. It's worth keeping in mind that the hybrid battery of the X540e is generally covered by 8 year or 160,000 km warranty. Although some models may have a shorter warranty period of 6 years or 100,000 km, if your car is still within the warranty period, you may be eligible to have the battery replaced at no cost. So ensure to check with your BMW dealers if you are covered. Finally, there are various other engine components that may require replacement over time, such as the fuel injector, spark plugs and air filter. The fuel injectors should be inspected every 80,000 km and replaced if they are clogged or leaking. A set of 6 fuel injectors for the X540e can cost around 2,500 ringgit and 4,500 ringgit depending on the brand. The spark plugs should be inspected every 60,000 km and replaced if they are worn out or damaged, a set of six spark plugs for the X540 can cost around 800 ringgit to 1,200 ringgit depending on the brand. The air filters should be inspected every 20,000 to 30,000 kilometers and replaced if it's dirty or clogged. A new air filter for the X540 can cost around 150 ringgit to 300 ringgit depending on the brand. In addition to these important components, other crucial parts of the X540e is its tires. The X540e features a large and heavy battery packs which can put additional strain on the tires compared to the non-hybrid SUV. The hybrid battery adds weight to the vehicle making it heavier than the standard X5. This extra weight put additional pressure on the tires causing them to wear out faster than usual. Furthermore, the X540e has a regenerative braking system which relies on the friction of the tyres against the road to capture energy and recharge the battery. The system works by converting the kinetic energy generated during the braking into electric energy which is stored to the hybrid battery. This regenerative braking system reduces the needs for physical braking but it also puts additional wear on the tyres. Additionally, the X540e is a powerful vehicle with lots of torque which can contribute to tyre wear. The torque generated by electric motor and the gasoline engine put lots of stress to the tyres especially during acceleration and cornering. The tyres should be inspected regularly for signs of wear, damage or uneven wear patterns which can indicate alignment or suspension issues. The tyres should also be rotated every 8,000 to 10,000 km to ensure even wear and prolonged lifespan. If the tyres are worn out or damaged, they should be replaced promptly to avoid compromising the car's safety and performance. The cost of the new set of tyres for the X540e can vary depending on the brand, size, type of tyres, but expect to spend anywhere from 5,000 ringgit to 8,000 ringgit for the set of four tyres. It is important to note that the cost of replacement parts can vary depending on the brand and location, as well as the specific model and year of the X540e. Additionally, labour costs for installation may vary but it's a good idea to shop around to get quotes from different mechanics or dealerships to ensure that you are getting a fair price. 
Proper maintenance and timely replacement for worn and damaged parts can also help ensure that your X540e performs well and stays safe on the road. The BMW F15 X540e is a sophisticated hybrid SUV that offers a unique combination of performance luxury and fuel efficiency. However, like any vehicles, it is prone to wear and tear over time and requires regular maintenance and repairs to keep it running at its best. As an X540 owner myself, I know how important it is to stay on top of the maintenance and repair issues. By being aware of the common wear and tear issues that may arise, we can take proactive steps to prevent and address these issues before they become serious and expensive. Regular maintenance, careful driving habits, and proper care and upkeep of the car major systems are key to minimizing the frequency and cost of repairs and ensure that our X540e remains reliable and long-lasting. And with its high performance capabilities and efficiency, this car is definitely worth the investment of time and attention to keep it running at its best. So thank you for tuning in to this discussion of common wear and tear issues with the BMW F15 X540e Hybrid. If you have any questions or comments about this topic or related to this x 540 please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below here. And you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos like this one. Bye-bye!